Hi everyone, thank you for joining me again. My name is Sarah and this is the second video of me rebranding my channel pretty much. <laughs> um, today I am doing a kitchen tour. It is going to, going to be a detailed video of everything that's inside of my cabinets and it's a minimalist kitchen. It does not have a pantry so we're go going to be doing a tour of that today. Um, for those of you who saw my house tour, um, you might have seen just an overview of this kitchen. But today we are just going to be going more into detail and looking inside every cabinet and seeing how it's organized. So yeah, um, if you want to go ahead and come with me and we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, and I'll just go ahead and give another brief overview of the kitchen for anyone that might have missed the house tour. Um, so these are chairs I got on Walmart.com for $300 for four. This was a light fixture I got at a used furniture place for $5. Um, the overhead came with the house and all of the appliances came with the house. We've got a fairly big dishwasher. It holds a lot of dishes and we've got the oven and refrigerator. That all came with the house. It was a brand new manufactured mobile home that we got through Clayton Homes. We've been in this house for a little over a year now. All right, so that is the overview and we'll go ahead and get started and look into the cabinets. I'm going to go up and down, um, left to right. So <clears throat> our first cabinet here holds our dishes. We've got right here, Pioneer Woman dishes. I love Pioneer Woman. Let's see, is that not cute? And I've got all kinds of different designs on the plates. Um, I just recently got cabinet organizers I have a whole set of them that you'll see throughout my cabinets. I love those. It was like $20 for a set of six. I got those at Walmart. Um, yeah, so that helps me organize my cabinets a lot. Um, when you're dealing with smaller cabinet space, this really, really helps. It helped divide my plates because I have bigger sizes and I have smaller sizes. So this helped divide that. I love that. These cups I got at our wedding shower it was a gift at our wedding shower and then up there is our bowls those are some more pioneer woman and then the cute adorable dessert bowls i love little bowls i have a, I have a fascination with small bowls i love them and then way up there are extra glass bowls i have some glass bowls on my bottom cabinet and those are for um extras if i ever need those but I hardly ever use them. That's why they're way up there at the top and hard to reach. And down here, I have our pots and pans to the right. In the middle, I have a lids organizer that I got at Walmart. These are my mixing bowls. And on the bottom there is a Tupperware organizer. I love that thing. That was a gift we got at Christmas. And we saw it later at Walmart. This was only like $10 and it's great because I don't have to worry about organizing all of my Tupperware. It's great. I have all different sizes and the lids are all in there so I don't ever have to look for the matching lids. That thing is great. That's very organized. Um, and this shelf came with the set of cabinet organizers and that's just all of my glass bowls. Well, not all of them. Some of them are in my refrigerator, but I try to store all of my food in glass bowls as much as I can now because it's supposed to be healthier than plastic. So that's my glass bowls. That's that cabinet and the drawer that is under my oven. On the left side, this is what we use the most. On the very bottom is a um, pizza pan and then we have the baking sheets. But on the right side here, I don't use these much. It's like baking stuff like um, muffin trays and cake pans, and I don't really bake much though, so don't use those a ton. Up here, this is one of my favorites. I am the most proud of this cabinet. Um, on the bottom here is just a Lazy Susan that I got at Walmart. These two containers right here, and look how cute and nice they look. Now, I'm going to be honest, they are cheaper material, you can tell, because some of it's already rubbing off. 
but it's okay. I still don't mind. They're glass. I got these at Dollar Tree. The home of oil and vinegar. I got these at Dollar Tree. A lot of stuff I have in my house I actually got at Dollar Tree. So I love my Lazy Susan though. This was also cheap. I got it at Walmart. And I don't have to look in the back for what I have. I can easily find whatever I'm looking for right there. These are our cans. And I love how I have it set up right here. It kind of comes up a little bit right here. So it stops them from rolling out. And plus, of course, this right here. And yeah, I like that system. I have plenty of space for cans, really. We don't um, keep a lot of canned stuff. And right here is like light foods. It's like um, not a heavy container, so I can easily pull this whole bin down. Um, so that's all like um, pastas and rices and um, just other lunch fixings and some supper fixings that we use all the time. I try to have it right here at the oven, just stuff we use most often. And then way up there is a cute basket I got at Walmart too. I got the bin here. I got a whole set of bins um, on clearance at Walmart, but this one I just got at regular price um, at Walmart around Easter time one year. And I, I love mint color. You're gonna see a lot of mint color in my house. Um, for those who saw my um, house tour, you saw mint color throughout my house. Um, I love mint. But way up there is just some more miscellaneous and overflow and stuff I don't need as often because it is really high up. And then down here, I guess we'll start with the drawers first. This drawer divider, I love. It was actually really cheap. I got it at Burke's Outlet. It was only like $5. And it's like a nice acrylic with um, good grips on it on the inside and on the bottom. So I love that thing because um, we can't find many dividers that would fit this drawer because it's a very narrow drawer. But this one fit perfectly and it was not expensive and it looks great. So I love that. My silverware set I got on clearance at Walmart. This knife right here, my husband actually found at TJ Maxx. I love it. It's a Japanese knife. You see the Japanese symbols? Love it. This thing is amazing. It cuts really, really good. So I love that. And yeah, and then we just have the pizza cutters back there. And I do have one spatula in here just because it fits really perfectly. So I just keep that in there. In here, these drawer dividers I got at Dollar Tree. They were like, some of them were like 50 cent for two and then some were a dollar. So not bad at all. And I love how that helps organize because this is my junk drawer, but it still looks pretty organized in here because of these dividers. I love that. We usually keep bag clips right here, but those are all being used right now. And yeah, this piece right here was also from TJ Maxx and is made in Italy. I love this thing. It's so cute, heavy. And that's another one that's not made in Italy, but it's still very cute. And I also got that at TJ Maxx. It's more of a Christmas themed one. But yeah. This is the third drawer. There's only three drawers in this house, but as you can see, we are making it work. We are doing just fine with it. And this storage compartment I got at Dollar Tree. And this folding method is the KonMari method. You see all of my towels and washcloths are being stored in this small little thing. That's thanks to the KonMari method. Um, if y'all would like, I can show y'all how that works. Um, I also have our clothes in our dresser in our bedroom folded with the KonMari method and it really does save a lot of space because I'm able to fit a lot. I actually usually even have more in here. I can put more in here, but some are being washed right now. So I love how much space that saves. And then underneath those is just mitts, my oven mitts. And beside them, this is what I grab most often to get any hot stuff in the oven. These are a set of measuring cups and bowls. It's the Pioneer Woman set that my sister gave me at Christmas. I love it. And there's another measuring cup and there's my measuring spoons. So storing a lot of stuff in this third drawer. Love that. 
this one is one of these shells my sister gave me at our housewarming and then this other shelf came with our cabinet organizer set and I just put cardboard in between them to make them stackable. I will eventually be changing that out with something else like maybe a drawer liner or something but right now this is working and it's just cardboard <laughs> but um but it works and um that way I was able to use all of my vertical space right here. I love how we're making this work and being able to use all of the vertical space but this is a Pioneer Woman. Again, I don't know if y'all can tell, but I love the Pioneer Woman. And that's just like all of my utensils right in here. And then the papers and some more storage containers and my chopper. So that's that one. And then um, in, before I get into these cabinets, in between these cabinets is our stool see how perfectly that fits right there and it has two steps so that we can reach um the taller shelves but we do not have anything in these cabinets right here they're not only high but they're behind the refrigerator so they are even with the stepping stools they are almost impossible to reach so we have nothing in those i would like to maybe one day just get rid of those cabinets right there and maybe just make the like floating shelves right there um or some type of shelves and um, just have decorations right there because we can't really reach anything in those cabinets. This is our medicine cabinet. And that was another piece from the um, cabinet organization set. And that helped organize and help me use this space more. Just a medicine cabinet. This is our breakfast cabinet. These two containers I just got at Dollar Tree again. Um, so nice. I. I like how they look. I love how organized it is in here. And you just lift this up. I love how it's stackable, so it really also helps use my vertical space. And this is just our breakfast cabinet. We have some stuff in here. Um, this is a piece from a set. I have some more pieces in another cabinet I'm about to show you. And I just got all of those at um, Walmart. It was on the Black Friday prices, and it's the Better Homes and Garden brand. So we love those. That's just holding our cereal. We're kind of low on cereal right now. We'll need to get some more. Um, and then down here, it's just storage. That's just my cake holder um, for when I take a cake to go somewhere. I love that thing. That thing's beautiful. It was just a local business, a local woman who paints those and made that. And I love it. Very, very pretty. I get a ton of compliments on that thing anytime I take it anywhere. So in here... is our coffee cabinet and just so y'all aren't getting confused I'm gonna show you where we're at so far so we've been through all of these we've done those we just did all three of those and then this is what's right beside it so you'll see too it is very close to my coffee station and this is my coffee cabinet so it's right beside each other um we love coffee here <laughs> me and Steven both love coffee this stand right here i got on clearance at walmart on the walmart clearance aisle a ton of cups <laughs> huge coffee cup collection um and then these are our travel coffee cups right here to the side this is a frother that i got at ollie's this heats up your creamer without having to use the microwave and it frosts it at the top of course and it was only $15 at Ollie's and I looked it up on Amazon and this exact brand name and everything was $60 on Amazon. So I was like, that's a really good deal. And there's just a basic um, coffee pot, but we love it. Well, you know, as you can see, I usually just use the Keurig because it's usually just me in the mornings here by myself. But, um, but this coffee pot is great whenever we want to make multiple pot or multiple cups at once for when both of us are here and yeah we just pull it out real easily and use that so we love just a basic simple coffee pot and works great and there's a sugar bowl that I got at TJ Maxx Steven sometimes likes to use just basic creamer because we usually have the sweetened flavored creamer but sometimes he feels like just having the half and half creamer and when he does he uses that sugar 
And just to overview again for anyone that missed the house tour, this lantern a friend gave me years and years ago. And these two pieces right here are made in Italy pieces that I got at TJ Maxx. I love TJ Maxx if y'all haven't been able to tell yet. I love TJ Maxx. <laughs> Um, and then in this cabinet right here, this is just under the coffee cabinet, is just my cooking dishes, and then my crock pots are right there. And then the bottom cabinet beside those is another crock pot. And then kind of overlapping on both of these cabinets is my um, cutting boards. Here at the top, I have nothing in that one. So as you can see, this is more than enough storage for us. This kitchen is plenty of space for me and my husband. We have more than enough space, really. These are my um, punch containers for when I have get-togethers. I already used it at our housewarming and it worked great. So those are really nice. Again, Pioneer Woman. <laughs> I love Pioneer Woman. Very cute. This is what I call my pantry. Especially this right here is my pantry, but this also has foods right here too. Um, so this is our junk food right here, our snacks, salts, and then to the right is our sweets. See the sweets container. I like this setup. Um, these containers, these were some more of those containers I was just telling you about, the Better Homes and Garden brand. I got them Black Friday at Walmart. And then there's some in the back you can see are different. Those are actually Dollar Tree. And I mean, yeah, they work. They work fine. They work just nice. Um, the labels, I have a label maker that I got at Walmart. And I love that thing so much. I've put that thing on so many things or used it on so many things. And uh, yeah, it works great. It definitely helps to organize. And I know some people might be thinking, why is your, why are your spices so far away from the oven? Well, it's not as far away as it might even look. It's not a gigantic kitchen. Um, and this just worked out best for us. I did have it closer, but it was actually more in the way over there. You kind of just have to do what you can with the kitchen you just do what works for you in your kitchen and um this has but if i ever need to if I, there's a handle at the top of here that i can just pick this whole thing up and move it closer to the oven if i ever want to so um but this works great it's easy to reach um and then i love this thing i got this at walmart this kind of lazy susan for the spices so i love that all right, and then this is the last set of cabinets on this side. And this is just the miscellaneous, it's just kind of overflow, random objects in here. This is kind of our gym stuff on this side. This is some beautiful marble and wooden pieces that I got at TJ Maxx. Um, all of them are made in India, I believe. And this is just a neat little thing that I got at Walmart carrying case with jars and reusable straws. I love it. Very, very cute. And then down here is just extra food containers. They're all empty food, food storage containers. So um, that shows you right there that this is more than enough of a pantry for me and my husband because we don't even use all of the food containers that we have. Yeah, this is plenty, plenty for us. All right, and then the last set of cabinets are these right here. This is our trash can right here. Um, it's a pretty good sealed trash can, so you never smell anything from it. But what I would like to do one day is move it into this cabinet right here. This only holds our paper towels, and we can easily move those somewhere else. I would like to put a drawer in this cabinet and pull out the trash can on there because it's not super in the way, but it is a little bit, um, it's right in front of the microwave, so it's not terrible, but it is a little bit of maneuvering you have to do to get around it to get to the microwave. So it would just be more open floor space if we moved into here. And I just went around and closed those doors back because it looks nicer when they're closed. So I went around and closed those back. 
and it, this is the last cabinet so I'm going to show you nothing special in here just basic under the sink storage but yeah this is of course our cleaning there's our trash bags I don't usually keep the trash bags in a box I just keep them out of the box and I just pull on it and pull it out and it just rolls right out so it makes it easier and this is all of our cleaning of course the storage bins again I got just Dollar Tree and that helps organize it a lot definitely and this is just our grocery bag when we go grocery shopping and it also holds plastic bags inside um, and we use that around the house of course and then we also use that when we go grocery shopping so when we go grocery shopping we just pull this whole thing out and you know at places like all these that does not have bags there we just use these to bag our groceries to rebag so right I don't know if I guess I didn't show in this video but for those that might not have seen the house tour this is another storage unit in my kitchen for coffee it's just odds and ends in here just my stirring spoon this I love because it's very environmentally friendly um, much better than k-cups it's a lot less waste and you just put any type of coffee you want into there and reuse that and just a paper towel and stuff for my frother that I showed you in the cabinet over there and I guess that is officially everything. I kept just about forgetting stuff, but I think I've covered everything now. I think we have got it all. All right, you guys, I guess that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, thank you for touring my small but um, wonderful kitchen. It's just enough for us and I love it. And I'm so grateful for it. I think it's beautiful and it is just perfect for me and my husband. Um, so thank you so much for touring it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it maybe gave you some ideas for your kitchen. Um, so thank you again. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. I am going to be making more videos and I do plan on making them pretty consistently. So please stay tuned and thank you again for watching. I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.